Over the last few weeks, I've been outsourcing a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of freaking content writing. Uh, it's part of a new project I'm working on, and I say new project, not a new business. This is part of an existing business, a part of my existing online business, but um, we're working on a project to really blow up our organic traffic, which is something that I really haven't paid much attention to. Uh, we've done you know a little bit of publishing on the blog and all that, but it is just such a far... I don't want to say far-fetched, but kind of low priority relative to the paid advertising. You know, up until now, we didn't really put any effort into it. Now, we're making a concerted effort into building up our organic blog traffic. All right. So behind that, I am literally outsourcing over a thousand topics I've got outlined, uh, or not outlined, but planned out, basically just the title or the keyword with a title variant kind of combined with it, right? So we've got a thousand posts. We're going to be outsourcing at least 2,000 words on each of them, some of them longer than that. So you can say, you know, 1,000 times 2,000, uh, at least 2 million words. And I'm, you know, kind of jumping down this wormhole already. All right. Now, if you have outsourced writing, you know that finding good writers can be a challenge. You know, sometimes you'll find writers that have awesome, awesome reviews and you order a piece of content back from them and you're like, what in the fuck did I just get back? Like, how in the hell did you just get, you know, 200 five-star reviews and you just sent this back to me, right? It All kinds of weird stuff happens. Now, uh, you know, kind of along with that, you know, if you want to get good writing, you have to pay a premium for it, typically. Uh, you know, native English speakers that live in a native English country, United States, Canada, Australia, uh, UK, those places, you're typically looking at, for a well-reviewed writer in those places, five cents a, a word or more. Um, I would say probably five to eight cents would be a pretty healthy range where you get a pretty big talent pool. But again, you know, as I kind of said, sometimes you order from a well-rated writer, but you don't get, you know, necessarily something of value back. It's kind of weird. Uh, so it's kind of, it can be hit or miss, even when you're going based on reviews. That said, I will say one thing that is pretty consistent is when you order from a native English speaking writer, again, US, Canada, uh, UK, England, or Australia. I guess I've never really ordered from an Australian writer, but I see them kind of pop up. So yeah, I haven't ordered from one, but I see them pop up in my filters. So anyways, when you order from one of them, you're always guaranteed to get something kind of decent, right? It might not be great, as good as you're expecting, but at least it's going to be something decent. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I'm in Durango, Colorado, uh, and my Airbnb condo is right up against the train tracks. And anywhere you're at in Durango, Colorado, you've got the train blaring its horn from 8 a.m. to like 7 p.m. whenever it stops. So yeah, anyways, just keep that in mind if you're going to Durango. That's what you guys are going to hear in the background here. Um, yeah, so where was I, right? Um, if you're getting native English speakers you know, writing your content, you're going to get something decent. It might not be good, but it's always going to be decent. Whereas if you're ordering from uh, a foreign writer, most of the time, my experience, even with the highly rated foreign writers, is that the content is low quality. And I've, again, been disappointed by ordering from some of them that have 500 five-star reviews on whatever platform it is. Uh, and then you get the content back and you're like, what is this, right? How did you get those 500 five-star reviews? So, I guess it's a whole lot of words just to say, you know, with native English writers, you're pretty much always getting something decent. But now how can you get that at a lower cost? Because that's always a factor in business, right? You want to get your cost lower. Of course, yes, you can pay a premium uh, to get things done right and higher quality uh, and on point and on time. But what if you could get those things done at a lower cost? Well, I guess without further chit chat, I'm going to share how I'm doing it with you guys and where I'm finding excellent writers at for a low cost, like two cents per word or lower for a native English speaking US writer. And well, surprise, surprise, it starts with Fiverr. And if you've ordered from Fiverr, just as I've kind of been describing here, sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a miss. Or I'll say mostly it's a miss. Sometimes it's a hit. But uh, with this method, I've been finding great writers, okay? So we already kind of established that native English speaking US, UK, Canada, Australia, those countries, those writers will deliver something decent. You know, you're not really going to kind of take a total loss on anything you order. And some of them will deliver great. So we want to find those great ones. Now, how do we get the lower cost function in there? Well, to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to look for newer writers and give them a chance because when writers are newer, they start out with a lower rate. 
So let me explain to you how to find them here. So typically coming from the starting page, the landing page, home page of Fiverr, just go writing. All right, and this is exactly what I'm doing here. Go writing. Now seller details gives you all the tools that you need or the filters you need to kind of make things happen. So we can say United States, Canada, United Kingdom, and I'm not going to scroll down to select Australia because you're going to get more than enough pool right here. And then to find the newer writers that are on here, we're going to go new seller, also maybe level one, and then hit apply. Okay. Now, right off the get-go, you'll notice there's some lower price options right here, and then, you know, that's kind of a higher number. This would probably be a little bit higher on the starting side of numbers. So let's put a budget filter on here, and I'm just going to put max $10. Now, this doesn't mean that you're going to get a 1,000-word post for $10, but this means that they are at least entertaining a lower budget offer, right? So you're more likely to find a lower budget uh, or lower cost provider by doing this. So put that budget in at $10. We got our filter for the newer sellers, filter for the native English speaking countries, and now we got a bunch of options here. So let's open them up and see what we get. Uh, I will write 2x worthy articles for your blog, SEO uh, articles. You know, I really don't pay much attention to the headlines. Uh, anything above a 4.8 will work. Somebody may have just gotten, you know, one bad review right off the get-go and kind of be fighting their way up. So let's just open up a bunch of these here and kind of go through and look at them. And actually, because I'm in a private browser, these are actually writers that I have never ordered from. I haven't even paid any attention to them. Just kind of going random. You'll see some of them specify a category like spirituality, uh, dog training. Obviously, we'll skip over those. Real estate. Not interested in that. That's not my topic. There we go. All right, so we got a bunch of them open. I literally just do this open the tabs, and then let's see what we got, right? I typically want to start off by going for a thousand words. Now this one says right here, um, the package includes two separate articles, any additional words. It's too complicated. I want to know your one price for a thousand words. This one, 500 words for $10, uh, 1200 words for $40. So what's the price per word out on this? I think we'll do 40 divided by 1200. Three cents per word, so that's a fair bit lower than five cents per word. What I'd say is a fair price for you know native English writing or kind of the standard price. This right here, forty dollars for fifteen hundred words. Two point six cents per word. Pretty good deal there. Uh, this guy, five articles, fifteen hundred words. Not interested in that. Kitana Services, 500 words, $5. It's a big jump. 500 to 5,000, what is premium? 50,000, okay. Uh, so if we look at this, this is basically one cent per word, 5,000 words for $50. And if we come down here, we can confirm from Canada. And Fiverr is pretty rigorous at actually verifying that, making sure they are where they are, or where they are where they say they are. Uh, we got this one right here, 500 words, $10, $20 for 1,000 words, so that's two cents. Looks like this is gonna be another two cent, yeah, $20 for 1,000, two cents per word. $25 for 1,250 words, I think that's exactly two cents per word too. 500 for five dollars. What about if I enter 2,000 words in there? Twenty dollars. So one cent a word, and this person has 125 star reviews. You know, so again, uh, well, it looks like she might might limit the topics. Yeah, sometimes you know, if you find something like this, you can email them and just say, "Hey, will you write on this topic?" Most of the time, they will. Uh, Ten dollars for 500. A thousand words for 20, so another two cents uh, per word. One cent. 
there's all these options on here if you use those filters, and that's the point I'm trying to make. Now, you might be asking, well, how do we know which ones are good? For that, you got to take the mud on the wall approach. Throw some mud at the wall, see what sticks. I will say that when I'm doing this, more than half the time I'm happy with the writers I find. Uh, I've probably, in this process of going through content over the last few weeks, I've probably ran through about 20 writers, and right now I've got more than 10 of them that I'm more than happy to work with again at these rates. So assign them an article, spend the 10 or $20, see what you get back, and then decide if you want to keep working with them. And you'll find that some of them might be great writers, but they don't do well with your topic. Others really thrive with your topics in your niche site, uh, you know, your niche site, niche content, or whatever topic you're writing on. It's really one of those things where I haven't found a better solution than trial and error, but doing this and following my method here really kind of puts you in on the talent pool. It's going to write high quality at a low cost, and I've gotten some high quality writing back at two cents a word that rivals the stuff that I've spent 10 cents a word on on Writer Access. You know, not that Writer Access isn't a good platform. It's a good platform to find the high quality stuff and know that you're getting it right off the bat right? You don't have to go through any trial and error when you're working with writer access, but you can get a much lower cost, I've found, and the same or better quality than even their six-star, ten-cent word writers on that platform doing this right here. So this is what's working for me for getting, you know, a high volume, high quality of content and going full speed ahead into this content investment that I'm making. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Any questions, comments, or feedback, I'd like to hear from you guys, so drop them in the comments below. That's a wrap on this video, guys. I'm signing off.